So over the last 48 hours, we've had a pretty big announcement when it comes to the future of Cardano, a key piece of infrastructure that we have not really had on a big level. This will bring uh, additional liquidity, additional users to the space, but yet despite this and other developments that have taken place, there are still those that are extremely bearish when it comes to ADA. In fact, there is an analyst that is calling for an over 60% drop to some levels we have not seen since the last market cycle. Is this possible? I'm Luxide, welcome to the channel. If you guys are new or haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that bell again, it's free to do, it'll keep you updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. So first of all guys, USDA, the regulatory compliant fiat backed stablecoin that we've been talking about since 2022 is basically set to launch, all right? And actually we have just had a big partnership signed with BitGo that is gonna help facilitate this launch. So again, they're collaborating with Emergo and Anzin to help bring this Cardano native asset, regulatory compliant fiat backed stablecoin to the Cardano ecosystem, which is a big deal because we need pathways to other ecosystems. You need pathways for uh, new liquidity. We don't have a, a big stable coin that, that can handle billions of users in the Cardano ecosystem currently. So this is in fact a big deal. Now, why this is important is this partnership aims to enhance the security and functionality of the USDA stablecoin protocol. They're basically gonna help facilitate uh, and integrate financial infrastructure into the USDA framework. They're gonna handle uh, minting, burning, things like that. All right, so their roles for overall security and efficiency of USDA. So, and they're, uh, this, is, this is a very big deal. All right, and what this means is that we're very close to having something that the Cardano ecosystem has lacked and it's all happening at just the right time. All right. We are about to, I don't want to say we're about to boom, but the, the, uh, crypto ecosystem is in fact about to boom. We're about to see that big influx of users and big influx of capital it may not look like it right now. You may look at price and be like, Oh my gosh, you know, prices is, is crap. And right now, yeah, over the last 24 hours, 48 hours, it sucked but that doesn't downplay the big move that is coming. Again, zoom out, look at overall structure. And that brings me to this. There are some experts, <laughs> top traders, analysts, whatever you wanna call them, that are predicting actually a 61% crash to 15 cents. So this guy, uh, what was his name? I lost that here, Ray Trader, all right? He was actually talking about this rejection at 40 cents, indicating it's a great time to short ADA. This is a great time to bet on a drop to 15 to 16 cents before a potential shift to the bull market cycle. And what I have to say is, I think that's a bunch of nonsense. I think 15 cent ADA, 16 cent ADA, ADA is frankly hopium. You're talking about a price that couldn't even be reached during the bear market cycle. And yes, while we're dealing with some, you know, negative geopolitical factors, obviously we, we have some light economic concerns right now that could snowball into something bigger. It would take a pretty drastic downturn in the overall crypto market for us to hit some of those levels that frankly have not been reached since four years ago. Okay. You're talking about a drop to uh, basically December of 2020 levels. Frankly, I don't see that happening. You have way too many people. You have too much confidence in the Cardano ecosystem, too, development, too many developments that have taken place. And frankly, this chart looks like it's ready to go. The reason why I'm saying that is we set that solid floor right down here at about 32 cents. Yes, we had those couple dips below it, but what you've seen is a build of support here. In fact, we're kind of playing into a little bit of a uh, just kind of cup, cup reversal here. We'll see if that happens. Maybe we'll get a retest and then a bounce like that, cup and handle, right? But really what I'm watching is this ADA BTC pairing. And you're having a very hard time dropping below this 55, uh, 550 sat level in terms, I can't draw a straight line to save my life, guys, here. This 550 sat level is having a very difficult time being breached. And what that means is that in order for ADA to drop to 15 cents, if we hold this same correlation, you would need to see BTC drop by like 60%. And frankly, do you think that's gonna happen? Do you think institutional money is gonna allow that to happen? Do you think the bulls that have been removing supply during this, this consolidation period are going to let that happen? And the answer is no, all right? Frankly, there's too much confidence. Most people are aware of what this, this timeline looks like right now. And you're, you're talking about a drop like this in terms of ADA after it's now tested this like 14 times, all right? Very unlikely. Now this isn't a guarantee, this isn't financial advice, maybe we do something different, but at the same time, I'm also watching these highs get slightly higher, slightly higher, slightly higher, 
All right. Now, technically, that is a bearish formation. It is a uh, right was a right angle broadening wedge that we don't. What is it? A right angle broadening ascending wedge that we haven't. You normally don't see that in the charts. And while normally that would be kind of a bearish formation because of the strength and resilience of ADA holders, it's really not. You have to kind of get into the mindset of the people that are setting this firm foundation right here. And they frankly don't want to sell. All right. Me personally, not selling. Even if ADA dropped to the bear market lows, 20, 22 cents, not going to sell. It's a huge opportunity to accumulate. You have so many people right now that are defending price, long-term retail holders, whales, things like that, that frankly, some of these projections for new cycle lows in terms of ADA, in terms of the overall crypto market, they frankly don't make a lot of sense. Now, as always, nobody knows what's going to happen. Maybe things escalate abroad. Maybe we get into war. Maybe we have a big recession, the likes of like uh, the likes we haven't seen since the 1920s. But right now, that's a lot of ifs and buts, right? As they say in uh, the Bing Bang Theory, if ifs and buts and can if ifs and buts were candies and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. Well, it's a lot of lot of what ifs. Okay, all we can look at is what we're seeing right now, and what we're seeing right now is strength in terms of not just ADA. But in terms of the Cardano ecosystem, the partnerships, the, the uh, adoption from governments, these are all things that you can't sleep on. We're gaining so much traction that it's very difficult to push the ecosystem, to push ADA price down to some of these levels. So I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this. I appreciate you guys as always. Again, if you have not, if you have not yet, make sure you guys check out my indicator. There is a link in the description below. Again, there's a seven-day free trial on that, so feel free to check that out during times where the market is turbulent. Maybe it'll give you a great opportunity to accumulate or take profit or whatever it may be. But have a great day. Show your love below. Catch you guys in the next one. Take care.